All right, morning guys. Well, successfully the stealth camp behind the mansions. It sounded like they were having a little Halloween party last night. But uh, yeah, we went undetected. Undetected. Um, not too far from a uh, gas station, so I just got back using the restroom. Just made myself a cup of coffee. And we're going to let the sun come up a little more. Better get past the top of these trees off to the uh, east here and uh, start getting packed up. Quiet night, man. I slept really good. I slept really good. The only thing about this cold weather, which it didn't drop down to the low 20s, like they said, there's no way because Freya's water didn't even freeze and my water didn't freeze so there's no way the inside of my tent stayed above 30 to or would have stayed above 30 to keep everything uh, from freezing so it didn't drop as low I think it only dropped into the low 30s I didn't think the weather report is wrong but yeah we successfully uh, still camped here <clears throat> and like I said I slept really good I just have a habit of uh, waking up off and on all night, make sure Freya is covered and close to me, or at least underneath my sleeping bag. Got a little too warm for her with her jacket on last night, so I'd pull that thing off of her. Plus, it's kind of tight around her front shoulders, and she can't stretch out properly. So I have a, I have a baggier one. That's why I always buy them a little baggier, so that way she can be able to extend and move around as much as she needs to. Some of the tighter sweaters, man, they pull on that front chest and front shoulders to where, yeah, I can tell she's just kind of like, her arms are in, like, when she's laying there, they're in a weird position, so. <laughs> I don't mind the tighter sweaters on her when we're walking around and stuff like that, but when we're laying here and stuff, they get all, they're too tight, so. I pulled that off of her and just made sure she was close to me all night. But other than waking up a couple of times a night for that, I slept pretty good. And we're going to get up and continue east or west. West. Yeah, west. I'm not awake, guys. <laughs> you can see my eyes are all sleepy. I'm still kind of in the room now. Even though I just walked and walked back. small cups of coffee. I have to make small cups of coffee because the coffee gets cold so quick. I can't use the lid because the lid's broken. It's been broken for a while. The part where you, the drinking part from the lid is uh, cracked in half so it just goes down my chin and onto the front of my sweatshirt or into my crotch of my pants. That's right. I can just make a couple of small cups and there's the little princess. There's the little princess dog. Hi, Frey. Hi. You say hi. Hi. Hi, everybody. I'm Freya. I'm tired and cold, and I just want to go back to sleep. It's beautiful here. Beautiful fall. Now that you guys can see the spot a little bit more, you can't probably see the houses back there, but about, I'm going to say 50 yards. 50 yards. There's just these massive mansion houses and cars parked. It's a pretty area. Sun coming up over there. I hear a bunch of noise, but I think it's just deer. There were a couple of big size white tail been here last night one of the males had a huge rack of horns it was the road and the highway there's like a auto detailing place and a car wash right there and a little uh snow white drive-in i haven't seen a snow white drive-in since modesto california so i have two of them out there they're quite popular in central california 
and they're just little uh, drive up burger shacks. Really good food if you like that kind of food. <clears throat> Always love their uh, deep fried mushrooms and deep fried uh, zucchini. Ah, yes. Good old Modesto, California. The old armpit. The old armpit of California. If you like 100 and 100 plus degrees all summer long, dry heat, go to Modesto. Or Fresno. Fresno could be the bottom of the armpit of California. Although it's more in the southern region, but that whole stinky Central Valley strip there. You know, down I-5, Highway 99. Hell yeah. But the last times I went through there, they were building the high-speed rail line in Fresno, parts of Bakersfield. And it's supposed to be going all the way up from the border to the border from Mexico all the way up to Seattle. I don't know what's still going on with that. I don't know if it's still, if it's still doing it or what. But, and I noticed a lot of the agriculture out there was uh, a lot of hemp, which is cool. But mainly the agriculture and stuff out there in Central California is a lot of uh, almonds, uh, peaches, uh, coarse cattle, uh, grasses, but a lot of uh, nuts, a lot of nuts, a lot of nut trees, a lot of fruit trees, and the more south you get, you get into the uh, artichokes and uh, avocados and stuff like that, but yeah, Central Valley, man, they... Phew, that is all farmland. It's one thing about California. Everybody thinks, oh, you're from California, you're from the big city. No, you don't understand. California, there's only San Diego, LA, Sacramento. I guess you could consider Fresno, Bakersfield area as a city area. I mean, they are, but they're spread out in agriculture everywhere around it. You have Sacramento, San Francisco, and that's it. The rest is all farmland. I mean, there's more farmland than there is big cities and mountain range all along the whole entire eastern coast of or the eastern side of uh, California. And it's a huge mountain range. I mean, it doesn't start getting flat until you get way up north above. Shoot, it doesn't really because you go into Redding and stuff like that. Then you get into Mount Shasta and all the way up to the north. Yeah, you're just returning into the Cascades. You go from the Sierra Nevadas to the Cascades. So yeah, the mountain range is just the whole length. It's 800 plus miles long and about 250 max three wide, 300 wide, but I think about 250 wide. So yeah. It's funny when people talk crap about people from California. It's like, especially if they're from like a little, you know, farming area, agriculture area. It's just like, dude, so is California. I mean, shoot, California feeds what a third of the country, third of the world, if not more. <clears throat> but I do like uh, checking out old old maps, like maps from like the 1500s, 1600s. And they literally show California as an island, like the whole mountain range that runs along the coast is the only thing sticking up in all of the Central Valley of California is underwater. <clears throat> now, yes, the Strip of Baja, that's a peninsula that goes all the way down and they could have mistaken that, but this literally straight up shows like Mexico to the south, Baja, everything down there, and then California an island. So who knows? The whole Central Valley could have been underwater at one time. I'm sure it was. But people will sit there and argue, oh, it was, you know, millions of years ago. But now these maps are not, what, 400, 500 years old. And they show California underwater. And everything above California was known as the Land of the Giants. And it was unmapped. And it was just called Land of the Giants. Now, giant what? Yes, there are big trees, but it wasn't called Land of the Giants from Oregon all the way up to Canada because the big trees are all in Northern California. And then you do have a few here and there, uh, 
uh, along the eastern side of Oregon. And you do have some big volcanoes. But who knows? Maybe there were giants in those days. All right, this video is too long. Shit. Yeah, my phone has no storage, so every time I try to edit something, it just tells me, you must get rid of da -da 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 megabytes, and I can't. I don't, there's nothing I can get rid of. I need a better phone with more storage or better camera. But then I'll have to take the SD card, put it in, but do all that kind of crap on the road. I'm not doing that. I just need a, a blank phone with nothing on it but my videos and editing. And then I'd have to use Wi-Fi from the place to edit, which that's not a problem. McDonald's, Taco Bell's, they all got Wi-Fi libraries. But, uh, okay, well, I'm going to cut this video off. I'll see you guys on the road. Cheers.